Alright everybody, so we're looking at the expanded world of bikini armor. So I was like, well, I might as well check this one out. I forgot to do it and I was like, eh, why not? Uh, it's definitely a lot different with this expansion and update. Uh, the original mod actually got kind of updated too. At least with the uh, location of where the armor's at. We have a bunch of sets of this. You're gonna need CBE, you're gonna need the, uh, what is it, the 32 uh, body shape. It says it somewhere in here. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff you can read in here. Actually, you probably want to. Yeah, XP32 skeleton. Why did I? I was like stumbling on that. Because I haven't reviewed a mod that required it in a while, I guess. Just had to think of it. <laughs> anyway, these are the new ones it adds. Um, it's pretty interesting. Uh, I don't think it's been updated where it's. See, this one uh, has. Um, books to craft the armors and just cheat and get them and this one does not have the, that option from what it looks like but to get the new ones um, the new add-on slash sets um, it's in this area right here in the abandoned prison which I'll show you how to get in here and exactly where it is in this place but it's not that hard I just have to jump down here but I'll explain it a little bit. Basically just come in that door right there and jump down. <laughs> but um, all the armors that are new will be in this one for your information. The, all the um, armors in total will be in this location in all these various chests, but the newer ones will be in here. The ones we're checking out here, because um, I checked out pretty much all the ones that were in the um, original, so... I wanted just to do this as a separate thing, because obviously it's a separate video, but I want to explain how you get everything. But there is those um, locations and stuff. Um, for the books, the original ones. As I saw, I don't think there is one for the new ones, as it says. But as you go in here, as, I, as you can see, this is the entrance right here. And you can just head in here and have a good time. But we'll go back to the cheat room so we can get some better lighting and stuff like here. And check out all these new sets. I already threw on the Daedric. Let's go in Tails. That's kind of interesting. Uh, I don't remember much about the um, other one. Uh, this is going to be a longer video probably. Um, I honestly don't remember when I reviewed the last one. I can actually um, look up in a minute. But I think they look interesting definitely different there's a lot of add-ons like stuff to play around or around with so it's cool that they added a separate chest makes it easy for me to do at least <laughs> but i think it's pretty cool it's definitely a mod i would uh, recommend but we'll check out something else um oh it's 10 months ago wow that's a long time ago it took me way too long to look that up But, uh, there's this ancient wood stuff, I guess. There's a ton of different stuff. I probably won't go over everything because there's so much here. Um, and there's also different types, as you guys can see here. A lot of stuff to put on. Sure, why not? Wow, there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> um... Well, that's the stuff I don't even know what existed. I don't know what that was. Um, there we go. Let's see what this is going to look like. Oh, it's pretty cool. Horns thing. Those look really good together. Um, definitely looks really cool on my character. Especially looks really cool on, for a um, Nordic set. Uh, obviously, you guys, if you want it more, like... If you want it more um, scampy, I guess you can just take off some of these sets of armors. That's basically how it looks with everything all together. Like I said, there's things to change here. Which is always nice. Cloak, why not? Pretty cool. Oh, it's not a big long cloak. That's pretty cool. And what's next? We got... Oh, we kind of like the Daedric. There's a lot to look at the Daedric. It's a brown mask. Oh, cool. But as I was saying, you know... You can't really look at the Daedric Dragon Bone, why not? Got a 
face mask, gauntlets, helmet, ooh, pauldrons, feasting. Huh, okay, there's boots. Oh, it's dwarven, no. Let me go back, go to back. Well, we don't need boots, I guess. Oh, that really, like, takes off a lot of the armor. Oh, where are the boots for this? Come on, boots. There we go. There we go. Cool. <laughs> that looks pretty interesting. Uh, I probably would take the, uh... What is it? The, uh, pauldrons off? Maybe. I don't know. I think it looks better without the pauldrons. But you guys can mix and match, obviously. Um, figure out whatever you want to do with the mod. Um, I obviously don't a lot of times like to have helmets on just because it, you know, takes a look from your character away. Especially if you have beauty mods on, I guess. So that's pretty interesting. So these must be just new ones for the Dwarven set. Um, they should be all together, though. That's weird. Now the Imperial ones is definitely new. Well, they all are. So yeah, there's probably just a few new ones that are just... Not full new sets, but just, you know, different options. So that's pretty cool. So there's like a set of dwarven boots and there's a new brass plate for that. Pretty cool. There's like a glass armor. Boots. Uh, breastplate, gauntlets, ooh, ooh I like the polishments for these already, wow, okay, definitely that's pretty awesome, that looks pretty cool, actually the little mask for the dragon bone looks really good with this, and it kind of like cuts over a little there, but it still looks really good together. Um, the Dragon Bone definitely looks good together. The, for that one simple thing. But I do like the glass. The glass looks really cool. So I definitely would recommend this. This is really awesome looking. And of course it has all the change of things you can look through. Like I said, I wasn't going to look through every single little customizational option. Because there's so much. This video is already almost 8 minutes long. And we got to go into the Imperial stuff now. Yay! I don't know if there's any Slump Look stuff yet. I mean, there's the Nordic gear, so yeah, there you go. <laughs> so I guess it's about time for some uh, Imperial stuff. Um, yeah, there's so much stuff here you can choose from. Gauntlets. Oh, there's the light stuff and the... Oh, I need to take off some of this armor. I already think this is, looks really cool, though. Great helm off, and we'll actually need to take off this face mask. Keep a little crown on. That looks really good. Oh, wow. I think this Imperial set looks really good. I love it. Sorry, I kept zooming out there weirdly. <laughs> I meant to zoom in right there. I think this Imperial set looks really good. Wow. Would definitely recommend this Imperial set right here. Obviously, you can mix and match with the light. So that's pretty cool. You figure out whatever you want to do with this. The way I had it set up, I thought it looked really good, but yeah, pretty cool. And some more iron stuff right there. Which is. Wow, there's a lot of abs for iron. <laughs> A few new iron stuff. Oh, I got some boots on right there. Interesting. Uh, we got scaled armor. Nice. Gauntlets. Uh, then I don't think I mentioned it, but you do need both mods. Uh, but I didn't mention because obviously, yeah, the second mod is not as big, and just depends on some of the assets from the original one. There's also some new steel stuff. I think other than that, that's it. Yes. That's pretty cool. So there's a few new sets with this mod. Pretty cool in general. Looks really good. 
mix and match and figure out what you want. Definitely would recommend this mod. But anyway guys, that's pretty much it for the video. It's just the updated version of it. So you guys get some more out get more out of this mod. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe if you did, and I will see you guys in the next one.